The FBI has given details of the bombs which exploded at the Boston Marathon on Monday, killing three people and wounding more than 170 others. Investigators say the devices contained nails and ball bearings and may have been made out of pressure cookers. Forensic teams have spent hours combing the bomb site looking for something, anything, that might be significant. This is a runner's eye view of the Boston Marathon, the finish line in sight, and then this. Police believe this sort of footage could help the inquiry into the Boston bombings. They want anything taken on the day to be handed over. It will then be analysed, frame by frame, still by still. Somewhere they are convinced they will find who planted the bombs. The bombs that maimed and killed those like 29-year-old Crystal Campbell, her mother struggling to explain, to accept her loss. I can't believe this has happened. She was such a hard worker at everything she did. This doesn't make any sense. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She was the best. You couldn't ask for a better daughter. Investigators believe the bombs were hidden in black nylon backpacks and housed inside sealable metal pots called pressure cookers. Pressure cooker bombs can help boost the power of relatively small devices by briefly constraining the blast. And when the cookers do explode, they can add large chunks of metal to the shrapnel spray. The IEDs have been popular with terrorists. Al-Qaeda published a how-to recipe in an online jihadi magazine. Seven of the bombs were used in a 2006 attack on trains in Mumbai, India. In 2004 and 2010, the Department of Homeland Security warned law enforcement that pressure cooker bombs could present a threat in the U.S. In the failed Times Square attack in May 2010, a pressure cooker was found amid the bomb components in the back of the suspect's SUV. <laughs> Investigators are combing through what Boston's police commissioner calls the most complex crime scene in his department's history. What makes it so difficult? It's two crime scenes, two separate blasts, police officials say. Debris and people were everywhere. Could clues come from the so-called explosive ordnance disposal sweeps that were conducted before the bombs exploded? Were two of them done that morning. One was done early in the morning, and a second one was done uh, an hour before the first runners came across. Investigators say they need specific evidence to find who's responsible, from surveillance tape, video, and still pictures from private citizens and media outlets. Boston's mayor told me this about the area of the finish line. We have cameras on Copper Square, probably the most uh, heavily cameraed neighborhood in the city of Boston, and uh, we're looking for those, but a lot of those businesses along Boston Street have their own cameras for safety reasons also for uh, theft of the store. U.S. President Barack Obama says the bombings were an act of terrorism. He says he's deployed all appropriate law enforcement resources. We were at the beginning of our investigation. It will take time to, to follow every lead and determine what happened. But we will find out. We will find whoever harmed our citizens, and we will bring them to justice. Obama says the government is on high alert for another attack. The FBI's chief investigator says they found clues to the design of the bombs. Special Agent Richard DeLoria says they are analyzing what appear to be fragments of the device. Importantly, the person who did this is someone's friend, neighbor, co-worker, or relative. We are asking anyone who may have heard someone speak about the marathon or the date of April 15th in any way that indicated that he or she may target the event to call us. Someone knows who did this. Cooperation from the community will play a crucial role in this investigation. We ask that businesses review and preserve video surveillance, video and other business records in their original form. And we are asking the public to remain alert and alert us of the following activity. Any individual who expressed a desire to target the marathon. The police have appealed for witnesses with any further information. So far, amateur footage of the blast has proved vital and investigators want any security footage from the area.
At the same time, there were reassurances that no other devices had been found. Uh, it's important to clarify that two and only two explosive devices were found yesterday. There were no unexploded explosive devices found. The death toll currently stands at three. As the investigation continues, more is known about the victims. A Chinese national studying at Boston University, eight-year-old Martin Richard and 29-year-old Crystal Campbell. The day after the bombings and the people of Boston were torn between mourning and attempting to get back to normal life. Parts of the marathon route in the city centre were reopened to traffic, although the bomb blast sites remained sealed off. But many locals were still shocked from the tragedy, which has brought back painful memories. It definitely brings me back to 9-11. Um, it made me think about that and how I was really young when that happened, so I didn't understand the severity. And to now be an adult and to have it be my city it's just it's heartbreaking but has the horror of what happened at the marathon finishing line spread fear among athletes will it stop them from competing in similar races around the world I don't believe that we as runners should be intimidated by such incidents it is of course terrible what happened and what unfortunately can always happen again but I'm confident that we will be able to overcome this tragedy in a bid to find something positive, marathon organizers have reflected that if Boston's medical teams hadn't been so well prepared for the race, the number of deaths might have been far higher.